What's up YouTube? So today is a gorgeous, gorgeous day. It is actually a Wednesday, believe it or not. You know, Wednesdays don't typically look this good, but today they look fantastic. And as you can see, I am in my own yard, this little, little backyard. But guys, I mean, I got this place for a steal. <laughs> and I mean, believe it or not, this whole little setup right here was like a quarter million dollars. Even the grill and, um, you know, the little chairs, the umbrella. I mean, it cost a fortune. <laughs> it's great. Hey, today's very special, guys, because I actually had a subscriber. His name is Joey. <laughs> Dear old Joey. And, like, he's so cool, guys. And he, he, he subscribed to the channel, and he said that he wanted to see more cooking videos. More videos involving food, guys. <laughs> I know, <laughs> it surprised me too. Show him a recipe, well, something that I can share with him, the love of Mexican cuisine. I'm gonna show Joey step-by-step step how to make guacamole, guys. So we're gonna go to the prep table and get everything set up. So <laughs> come on, let's go. Hey, all right guys, so now that we're here at the prep table, I'm gonna show you everything you need to make guacamole. Minced garlic, one fresh lime, cilantro, tomato trinity, also known as pico de gallo. Guys, I wanna show you something. See these guys? These are little avocados. They're very, very small. And it would take probably 100 to 150 of these guys to actually make a decent batch of guacamole. So these guys are not ready. They're a little premature. So we're gonna put them back and we're gonna let them keep growing. What you actually want is something more along the lines of this, guys. A ripe, fully grown adult avocado, guys. And you can see it's starting to go from like lime green to a alligator skin, if you will. So we want three alligator skin, ripe, fully grown adult avocados, okay? One, two, and three. You wanna see? How you look in the window of an avocado soul. Right there. <laughs> just take your knife and you just want to go all the way around. You hit the pit and you just want to like go in a circular motion. Boom. So you take the pit out of the avocado. So you just want to gently wiggle it around boom it falls out just like that guys and that's what the avocado pit looks like wow all we have to do is get a spoon guys this could be your basic okay nothing fancy what you're gonna want to do is just take the spoon guys and line the inside of the avocado boom you got your skin toss it away man Joey this is very simple buddy I know you can do this all right, so now what we're gonna wanna do, guys, is just, we're gonna take some minced garlic here. You can use powdered garlic. You can use fresh garlic cloves. I'm gonna use minced garlic for what we're doing here. And I'm gonna do one nice little spoonful, guys, right into our bowl of avocados. Boom. There, we're done with the garlic now. So now we're gonna go to the tomato trinity, guys. It is also known as pico de gallo. It's a mixture of peppers, onions, and tomatoes. Boom, dump the whole thing in there. Now I got this, now we can toss it. Oh wait, always have garbage nearby and ready to go. We're gonna slice our lime. Beautifully sliced lime. Look at that. And we're gonna squeeze fresh lime juice into the guac. And all you have to do is just squeeze it, Joey. Just squeeze the lime, Joey. We're getting close to perfection. Cilantro here. Look at that. Look at how delicious that looks. Take some cilantro, big old helping pinch. And then if you want to, go for two. Boom. Make it rain some cilantro in there, guys. This is what it looks like. Boom. Guys. That's what we got going. Go back to our basic spoon that we used earlier 
and we're just gonna mash it all up together. Look at this. Chop up the flesh of the avocado, mixing it with the pico de gallo, the minced garlic, and the cilantro, guys. This is the magic of it. You can make it as chunky or as mashed up as you want to, Joey. It's awesome. I'm gonna mix it around. Check it out, guys. Guys, it's quick, it's simple, and if I can do it, Joey can do it. It's time to stick a chip in it. All right, guys, we got our guacamole. It was awesome, and thank you, Joey, for asking so kindly for the recipe. Bon appetit, and see you next time.